Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is SL from The Analyzer and today's video is about how to create a simple word cloud visualization in Google Data Studio. Word cloud, also known as text clouds or tech clouds, they are generally used to visualize text data such as product reviews, comments, tweets, news articles, and many more. Word cloud is a collection of words displayed in a different sizes and weights. Usually, the bigger and the broader the word appears, the more frequently the text is being mentioned in the text data. Hence, the more important the subject is. From a business perspective, Word Cloud can be useful in visualizing and summarizing customers' reviews and their sentiment towards the brand. It can also be used to identify the common keywords for SEO optimization. So this is one of the examples that I created using one of the visualization add-on that I'm going to introduce to you today. And this is showing the common words or keywords that drive in traffic to my website. So if you are interested in building a word cloud like this using a free data visualization tool like Google Data Studio, you are in the right place. So today I'm going to introduce you to two visualization components that I found in Data Studio that you could use to create a word cloud without coding skills needed. However, if you want to achieve better results with your word cloud, you may want to stick till the end of the video where I will share with you the solution that you could use right away to customize your word cloud. As both of the components that we're going to use today our community visualizations. I'll spend some time to guide you on how to import them to your data studio report. So if this is the first time you came across community visualization or partner visualization in GDS, these are actually the visualization add-ons developed by third-party vendors or simply the volunteers. While some of the visualizations are being reviewed by Google, you should always add visualizations from trusted providers, especially if you are dealing with sensitive data. Now you have some basic understanding on community visualization. What you need to do first to import them to your report is you will need to create a new Data Studio report if you don't have one yet. Then you're going to import a data set of your choice or you can use the one that I link below. So now in my report, I already have my data imported. So you can see this data set includes the review from the customers on the shoes that they have purchased on Amazon. And from the look of it, it seems like they have a few language mixed up in this data set. So we're going to ignore about that first and focusing on how to create a word cloud. If you are new to Data Studio and not sure how to um, add your data set into this report, you can check out my full Data Studio course where I cover how to import the Google Sheets data set and how to create some simple visualization from the Google Sheets data. So be sure to check that video first before coming to this one. Once you're ready, you will have to turn on the community visualization access to your report. Otherwise, you can't insert any word cloud charts that we are going to use today. So to do that, you will go to resource, manage added data sources, and click edit. Here, you will see this community visualization access on top. Make sure it's turned on. So to do that, just click on this one and then make sure you selected community visualizations access on. So then you will have to click save and after that, just click finished. Now we are ready to import our first word cloud visualization today. This add-on is called Simple Word Cloud and it's built by Meliorum. I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly. Before we import, it's worth noting that this component is still under development and it's not yet reviewed by Google. So you'll have to install at your own risk. It's also a bit buggy, so later I'll also show you the limitations of using this component. 
So now I'm going to guide you on how to search and import this add-on into your Data Studio report. So first, you will need to click on one of the icon on the menu toolbar. And this icon has the combination of four shapes, so it should be easily spot on. And after you click on it, you can see that we have this window opens up. Just click on explore more. And you can expand the window a little bit to have a full view. So here you will see all the available add-ons for Data Studio. And these add-ons are all reviewed and approved by Google. However, if you want to use Simple Word Cloud, which is not yet reviewed, you will have to click on this Build Your Own Visualization menu. And from there, we will have to key in a manifest path to install the add-on. So here, I will just select and enter the manifest path. I'll put this manifest path in the description below so you can copy and paste it to your report. So now I'll just select it first. And after that, you can just click submit and click on this card over here that says simple root cloud so you have to grant the consent to the community visualization now you just click allow to enable the access so now once we have successfully installed the add-on you can see this box over here that allows you to add the chart directly to your report so just hit anywhere in your canvas to add the chart so i'm going to make this smaller so you could see this chart so earlier when we add the chart you can see that the speed is rather slow so what i would recommend is you will have to limit your data to certain rows so the speed will be faster so for my example now i'll just choose converse woman's something which is one of the product so now the word cloud has been generated and the next step is actually making sure that we have the right data configured in this data tab now data studio has helped us select the review text for our dimension which is already correct and for the record count is being selected as our metric so if yours one is not these two dimension and metric just drag the correct field to this placeholder and you will have a word cloud generated just from a few clicks thanks to the developer that developed this visualization add-on however I do notice there's a bug when I'm trying to interact with the filter. So for example, if I want to know um, what the customers usually talk about when they give low rating. So now I'm going to just add a drop down for the review rating. And then I will deselect this and select the low rating. For example, the, the one that gives us only one out of five you will notice that instead instead of updating the current word cloud this add-on actually generated a bunch of word cloud below the okay it seems like this word cloud has died so let me just refresh so let's say i just choose rating one so now basically we have kind of have two word clouds over here if you can notice there's like a two cluster so if i choose rating two for example you can choose you can see that we have a duplicated word cloud just below the two word cloud that we have just generated earlier so it seems that whenever we interact with the report a new word cloud will be generated instead of updating the first one so this makes me very confused at first i managed to figure it out 
And also when you try to change the color, for example, if I change to maybe orange color, it will just generate a new one below the previous one. So this is something that you will have to take note. I would foresee that it's not suitable if you want to put this word cloud into the report that you will have the users interacting with the dashboard. For example, they will choose or filter from the drop down like what we did earlier. Personally, I would prefer to generate word clouds using a slightly more advanced component called Vega or Vega Lite. So this component is developed by Jeremy Chen and it's very interesting as it's not only it supports word cloud but it also supports other different type of charts like um, circular charts, scatter plots, the distribution charts, geographical maps, tree maps, um, some network diagrams and other more custom made designs for your visualization. I had a lot of fun exploring this add-on and I really wish to learn more about it in the future and share with you guys. So if you are interested, leave your comments below which chart you would want me to cover next. So now back to our tutorial. Let me remove this um, chart first. Okay, so back to our tutorial. To import this component, the process is very similar to how we did earlier for the simple root cloud add-on. So first you will need to go to community visualization and click explore more. Then we're going to find Vega slash Vega Lite, which is this one over here. Click on it and select allow. Now, click on the canvas to add the chart. Once you add the chart, you will notice that there are some random data being selected. So make sure you drag in the correct text field to the dimension field. So in our example, since we want to know what the customer talked the most about in their reviews, we will use the review text as the dimension and the record count as the metric. So this will make sure we count the individual word correctly. So it seems that we need a bit more time to generate this word cloud. Okay. So now the word cloud is being generated after we have defined what data goes into the word cloud. So if you find this tutorial useful so far, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more valuable content like this. And now you can resize the chart if you wish. And the text would be adjusted accordingly based on the size of your chart. But I'm having some issue with the unresponsive page. So you can see that we now have the word clock here. But you may notice that now the text is super long because it's actually the full sentence of the review. And you can see the words are kind of repetitive like small, small over here you can see. Or maybe people say it's tight, uncomfortable, tight again and things are just repetitive. So it's really difficult to get insights from there. And in my opinion, it defeats the purpose of having a word cloud in your report. So what we could do here is to process the text and break them into individual words. And we're going to count the frequency for each term. So to do that, we will need to customize the JavaScript code that helps us generate this word cloud using Vega. So to explain further, if you click on this chart and go to style, you can see that under configuration spec, we have some JSON. We have the JSON here that help us generate this word cloud. In Vega, we could do the data transformation that helps us separate the text into individual words using a, a function called count pattern. So I won't go into detail how it works, but basically here is how we customize 
how, here is the foundation that helps us build this chart and we're going to edit this code over here to enable us to break down the text into individual words for a better word cloud. So the reason why I want to share this solution with you all, even though I'm not too familiar with coding in JavaScript, is because I only managed to get it done after a few attempts and I don't really see much people sharing this solution publicly and I can also foresee many people like me are struggling with this as the documentation provided by the tools are not very clear on how to use it on Data Studio. So that's the main reason and I want to help you all by reducing the time in doing the research. So here I am. Okay, so back to the tutorial. What you'll need to do is to go to my article. I'll put the link in the description below. But basically, let me just open the article. Okay, so basically, we are you are going to go to my article and you just scroll down to the most bottom. And you'll see this code over here. Just click on this. And then you can just... Um, copy the entire script and you can select all here by using control or command a and then backspace to delete all the code now just paste the code that we just copied into this space then we'll have to wait again until you see the word cloud being generated Okay, so now just for this tutorial, I'm just going to sh select a few products over here and I'm going to show you the outcome after we have customized the code because I think it's going to take forever for it to load because of the data set. So now I'm trying my best to include more data for you guys to see. Sixty six products and okay, so now you can see that the words are all breaking up into individual words. So now we are able to see more words in this word club. Largest word we can see here is shoe, shoe or shoes, and we have feet and we have size and we have also some other redundant words like was, but, are, were, and so on. These are actually stop words that we'll have to remove from our word club, but I wouldn't cover that in this tutorial because I wanted this to be a simple one. So just bear in mind that the, in the proper text analytics, we'll have to remove these words. And for shoe and shoes that basically referring to the same item, which is shoe, usually we will return it to the stem word, which is shoe. So we won't have the duplication over here. And I believe this is not the most perfect, but it does give you a better word cloud compared to the previous one where we have the longest, we have the very long text. And yep, so besides, you also notice that this data set consists of different languages in their review text. So to make this a better word cloud, we will also need to translate the text to the same language. I'm planning to prepare a course on that, but I wasn't sure if anyone would be interested on that. So do me a favor and leave your thoughts below what you would like to learn or if you are interested into such course. So, so I'll prioritize them over other projects. So sorry for the technical issue earlier. 
I hope this tutorial can help you create a good word club for your report. Thank you so much. I appreciate your feedback and comments. See you next time. Bye-bye.